Discretion is advised. What's up, y'all? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we're going to be playing Train Sim World 2. This game came out a few days ago, actually. It is the newest version of Train Sim World. Supposedly a lot bigger and better, and we're going to go check it out. Today, we're just kind of going to take a look at the game, check out the livery creator, the scenario planner, and just check out the game all in all in general, see how different it is from the first uh, Train Sim World 1. And then from Train Sim World 2020, which are two different games as well. So, let's go ahead and check it out. We've got, um, after you create your profile and stuff like that, you've got three routes. You've got the London Underground Bakerloo line. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I know I'm going to screw it up. But it's got the German ICE train. And then we have the Sand Patch Grade. Y'all know I'm going to go check out the Sand Patch Grade. Let's go ahead and hop into it and check it out. Alright, so welcome to the Sand Patch Grade. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking Man, that was a loud train, wasn't it? That was so completely loud. So they want us to look left, right. I'm noticing it's got the same um, camera issues that the first Train Sim World had where everything Besides gets all blurry. Trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. So you can tell that the HUD has been updated significantly. It actually looks a lot more cleaner now. A lot more, um, it doesn't take up as much space on the screen. So let's just go ahead and come down here to the rail crossing. Looks like we got another train heading in the opposite direction. Um, possibly stopped. So we fixed a marker. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. So we've got markers to fit and everything. We're going to climb aboard. aboard and take a seat in the cab with the engineers for a short ride. Okay, well, how am I supposed to get across the... Okay, I guess it didn't let me getting across the tracks there, but we're going to get across the tracks up here. But yeah, I do like the new uh, interface that they have going on with the HUD and everything like that. It actually looks a lot more cleaner. And we do have those uh, frame issues as well. I've had a lot of people say that they've had a lot of frame issues with the uh, game and stuff like that. And I am noticing that on here right now. So we'll go and shut those doors. Let's go ahead and climb in the second man seat because we are not the conductor or the engineer today. We're just kind of here. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. Pause the game and review the task log, which is... Find a seat, pause the game and review the task log, apply power, pull the handle back to get going, and pull the handle back to release the brakes. All right, so let's go ahead. A lot of time will be spent operating trains. So when re a heads up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral direction. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle all the way back to get moving. Okay, so you guys saw a little introduction there. 
the HUD does look a lot clearer in the cab as well as outside of the cab so when you're walking around it looks a lot cleaner doesn't take up as much real estate on the screen as in regular train sim world 2020 so let's go ahead and increase our throttle to notch three and I guess it wants us to use the keyboard for this which I really don't want to do but we're going to anyway and here we are moving man we can remove that here we go perfect 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 Sand patch grade offers the ability to operate powerful and heavy freight trains on one of America's most stunning and famous railroads. And just so you guys know, we will be um, taking a look at all the routes. So you we're not going to just be on the AC North American routes. We'll be taking a look at all of them. These are the workhorses of trains operating over the sand patch grade, with CSX Transportation having more than 600 in its roster. So we can't really mess with anything, it's just kind of a point and go for the most part. Um, but we're basically just kind of learning about the line here, learning about the trains. I'll turn the headlights on. The world allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal and external camera angles. Let's take a look now by exploring the exterior of this train. So we want to go to the back. And we'll take a look at the back of this coal train, empty coal train here. And just so you guys know, yes, the DLCs that you have purchased for Train Sim World 1 and 2020 do work with this. And the mods that work with the original Train Sim World as well work with this. We'll be checking those, checking those out here soon. These can be accessed from the number key. And then, of course, you got your uh, the same views as we've got pretty much the same views as Train Sim World 2020. So you have your engineer seat. View 2, which is like the outside of your train, and then the rear, same thing, and then View 3, which is kind of like a, supposedly supposed to be like an onboard camera type deal on your car and then your uh, uh, freight car, so it's pretty much the same thing, only a small but area. there is a lot to explore. So take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Crossing the Allegheny Mountains, the sand patch grade is a vital link in the sprawling CSX rail system. Master the controls of powerful American freight locomotives operating out of the vast Cumberland Yard facility. Whether the sun is shining, there's a rain shower, or a full-on snow blizzard, it's up to you to keep the rail traffic moving. Battle your way over one of the steepest railroad grades on the East Coast. Along the way, don't forget to place safety posters, collect lost hard hats, put up no trespassing signage, and fix broken snow markers. Welcome to the Sand Patch Grade. Okay, so we've got pretty much that down. Here is a look at the Train Sim World 2 picture for the Sand Patch. Um, let us go ahead and tools i wonder yeah okay so we have scenario designer and livery editor explore we can do trainings there's eight scenarios it looks like it's the same yeah same scenarios as original train sim world so nothing's changed there uh timetables probably the same thing we've got the three locomotives here and then of course we can hit escape to switch the route and then we've got, you know, Sand Patch, Peninsula Corridor. I don't see the Northeast or the new Northeast Corridor on here. So we've got pen, the pen, 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 Peninsula Corridor for the Caltrain. I'm not seeing my uh, New York um, Hudson line, or not Hudson line, but the New York one with the uh, M9s or the M8s or whatever they are on there. And I'm not seeing the Northeast Corridor with the ACS64 on there either. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't even look like the Northeast Corridor or the Amtrak route is even available on here, so I'm wondering if it's got something to do with licensing issues. Maybe it'll be possibly out in an update. I'm hoping it is, because I'd love to have Amtrak Metro Liners and the Switchers back in here and kind of work with those. But we've got what we've got so far. Um, let's go ahead and cap into the livery editor here and check that out real quick. So we've got all of these that we can do reskins for. Uh, we don't have everything um, as far as 
um, pat like the uh, F40PH we can't do, but let's try to do an SD40-2. We'll create a new one, and we'll just do video livery. So let's go ahead and hop into that. We'll edit that. All right, so here we have a plain Jane primered SD40-2 for us to play with. Kind of cool, kind of nice. Uh, you, you know, it rep resembles a CSX one, but I think what we'll do is we'll do something simple for right now. Add the paint on there, and you can actually, whoa, that is bright turquoise. Ooh, that's like teal turquoise right there, man. That's actually not bad color. We got all black. We can do like a Norfolk Southern type deal. I kind of want to make a leasing locomotive. We can do all black. Let's just do all black for right now. We'll confirm that. Then we have layers. We can add some new layers. We can add some text. Uh, we can add some signs, some shapes. Let's just add some uh, shapes to it, shall we? Does it have to be the nose? Layers. Add a new layer. We'll do a shape. Hmm. I don't know why it's just taking me to the nose. I don't know why it's not taking me elsewhere. Hmm. I don't know. Do I have to, like, go through cycle different views and stuff? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, I guess we'll just kind of stick with the uh, thing here. And I'm wondering, can I even make this a little bit smaller? Oh, yes, I can. Cool. So we can change the side. Okay, so, okay, I see now. So we could change the side. We can scale it with the WASD. We can move it with the uh, arrow keys. I see now. Okay, I, I, get, the, I get it now. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and put it on the, on the, uh, okay, so we can't actually put it, well, maybe we can. I don't know where it went. There it is. There it is. And then if I do know that it's with the air, we have to move it with the arrow keys. So what is going to take a little bit longer to move if you're trying to make like a, Huge livery. It's going to take a little bit longer. But we'll just do like a leasing company here. And stuff. Oh, that I just screw that up. I think I just screwed that up. I did. Okay. So I screwed that up. Okay. So we've got like the HLCX, which is like the reporting mark. um, For the railroad that we're just kind of, you know, doing a test for. This doesn't going to resemble like any railroad. It's supposed to be like an X. Um, Norfolk Southern um, locomotive, but we're not going to kind of, you know, keep it as that. So what we'll do is we'll just make the nose, we'll just kind of do something weird here. We'll make the nose, well, not really. We'll just put a white circle on the nose, kind of like re representing an old Illinois Central Death Star locomotive. So we'll end up placing that there, even though it's not an Illinois Central locomotive. Then you've also got signs that you can put on as well. Um, do not ride on the outside, danger, all that fun stuff. So, I'm not quite sure if there's going to be any mod support for this to, as to where um, there will be like different sign shapes. You can put in like different styles of text and everything like that. Um, not quite sure. Let me see if I can copy all the copy these yeah let's copy that and let's see if we can put it on the opposite side okay there we go so we can actually put it on the opposite side a little complicated but we can do it for sure so we'll add, place that there and we'll just kind of run through the rest of the list here there we go now we got the reporting marks on that side and the shape will end up copying and transforming to the back as well so we'll just do chain side. There we go. We'll place that. And we have our SD40-2. We'll save the changes. And there it is. So we can actually use our own custom livery in-game as well. Um, 
So it doesn't actually, like if you're using a mod, it doesn't actually overwrite the default locomotive. So as you can still see, we can still use our YN2 and our YN3B along with our uh, leasing unit as well. So that is a good thing right there. That's awesome that it doesn't actually overwrite our actual locomotive. So that's kind of cool. I will actually be doing some more stuff with the livery creator. I'm still trying to get used to it. This is actually my first time actually checking this game out. So bear with me. We will be having a get or another video kind of showcasing the livery creator. And we will be kind of making a couple different liveries for this game as well. So stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and explore the uh, scenario designer here. So we got scenarios, we can add one, and we'll just name this uh, video as well, so it won't be an actual scenario. Um, so we'll start over here, um, confirm start marker. We'll start at Yoder main 1. Okay, we'll start at Yoder main 1. That'll be our start marker. And then we'll do Cumberland Terminal to Rockwood or Cumberland Terminal to Rockwood Mine. We'll do Rockwood. We'll confirm that path. End marker we'll do as Garrett West. Oh, okay. So hold on a second. I kind of screwed up here. So it'll be Yoder as our start marker. We'll do Cumberland to Rock, Rock, Rockwood. Uh, end west will be Garrett West. Or we'll do Rockwood East Main 1. Stops will be Garrett West. So we'll do a stop at Garrett West. Or no, we won't because we're not heading towards Garrett. And then service start and service end at Yoder. And it ends at Rockwood Main East Number 1. We'll confirm the service. And that is actually freaking cool because we can actually use the UPGP38-2 as well as the other CSX locomotives here as well. It doesn't look like I can use my custom livery, um, uh, the custom liveried SD40-2. That is cool that the actual locomotives are interchangeable so I can use Union Pacific on the sand patch. And then CSX on the uh, Peninsula Corridor. So that's actually super cool that we can do that. So let's do YN2 SD40-2. And we'll do um, 2 SD42. We'll do 50 grain. Maximum train length is 492 meters. So we can't do that. So we can do light engine moves. For the most part. Okay, let's try GP38. This one. Okay, so we got two GP38 UPs and 40 empty hoppers. We'll confirm that. And then we'll just do video test. Start time is, we'll do 12. Player service, it is not passenger, so let's confirm. And we got another achievement, so we got handicraft. And let us go ahead and check out this scenario. Let's see if we can play it. Can we play it? Or do I have to go back to here to play it? No, not here. Okay, so it's not letting me uh, play it. So it's saying start, but I can't actually start on it. Is there, do I have to edit something or do I have it? Scenario details. Off to rails. I don't know what that is. We'll confirm that. Edit the timetable, which we're not wanting to do. We'll go ahead and do that, and let's start it. All right, so video test. Um, we got the UP GP38-2, 1,079 tons, 33 cars, and 442.8 yards. We well, got three GP38-2s on this one with 40, I believe it said 40 coal cars. Wow. You open up the windows, insert that, turn all these on, 
Set you to release. We'll do it. Set that to freight. Release that. I think all you guys are on. Should be on. Uh, lights are on. All that's on. What is that? The cab heater's on. Warning device is on. Everything's good there. Let's go ahead and put the throttle in. Set the red lights to bright. Looks like they still have the old recycled sounds from the previous game, but that's okay. We probably will have some sound mods coming in soon, so. So we got it clear. Nice. Turn on some lights. Shut off the bell. Nice, nice, nice. Looks super cool. Very nice. But yeah, I'm honestly really loving this um, interface right here that they have. The heads up display, the HUD or whatever you want to call it. I am really, really, really liking this one more than I like the original one. It's just more clean. Doesn't take up as much real estate. And it's more sleek looking like this one. These did these just look so much better than the originals did. We'll just come over here. We'll kind of sit in the conductor seat here for a little bit. Check it out. Looks like the wiper's moving. I don't know why the wiper's moving. I don't know where the wiper switch even is. So we're just kind of going to leave that at that. But yeah, I'm kind of... I'm kind of sad that they don't actually have the Amtrak stuff in here yet, but I'm assuming it's just something to do with licensing with Amtrak, so who knows. But we do have Caltrain if we do want to run some passenger service and stuff like that. But yeah, this is actually kind of cool. I am actually liking this game, and like I said, we'll do some more with this game for sure. Uh, we'll kind of check out the livery creator. We'll kind of create our own custom liveries and stuff like that. Um, something simple, nothing too fancy and all that fun stuff. We'll also take a look at some different mods and stuff that I have for this game. That are on uh, the train sim corner and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and back on out of this and let's see what else we got. Okay, so as of right now, this is pretty much everything uh, that you can drive in game. That I currently own. There might be some more stuff on the store. But like I was saying, if you come here to the store, um, it doesn't have much. So you got this route right here, Peninsula Corridor, which we own, and then the East Coast Way, the East Coast Way, which I currently don't own as well. I don't own this one or this one. The ones with the check marks I do own. So there is no um, New York Penn or New York New Haven, whatever the line is. There's no uh, Amtrak Metro Liner as of yet. I'm hoping that does come soon. I might have to figure, might, there might be an announcement from Dovetail about it that I missed or something like that. So, But yeah guys, that is pretty much the game. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think, if you guys have played it already, if you like it a lot more, if you like it a lot less, if you prefer the other one over this one or vice versa, whatever. Let me know down in the comments section down below. And uh, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to getting in this game and checking out the how the new graphics and stuff look on the Peninsula Corridor. I'm actually kind of cool checking out the ice train as well. And then we'll also be checking out the subways or the underground Baker Lou line. So I'm super excited to check those out. But that's going to go and do it for this one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think, as well as by hitting that subscribe button and the like button. Make sure you guys follow me on Discord and all my social media. I'll catch you guys here on the next one. Peace.